The new remove tool in Photoshop CC 2023 beta version of Photoshop is absolutely incredible. So check this out. Let's say that you've got yourself a watch or something that you want to remove from a photo and you want to get rid of it. The easiest way to do this is to unlock this layer. And now if you go to the healing brush tool, right click in here and you'll see the new remove tool. Now this one is similar to the normal healing brush tool. However, this one will use AI to get much more accurate results. And all you need to do is go ahead and select yourself the size. You can either change it in here or you can use the square brackets on your keyboard. And then all you need to do is highlight the area that you want to remove. We also want to include the shadows as well. And there we go. In a few seconds, this watch will now be completely gone. Sometimes it may not get the best results. And as you can see, it's left the shadow behind. But that's completely fine because every time you tell it to readjust the area, it will just get better and better each time. And as you can see, it learns from its previous mistakes to make it look better. And the cool thing about this is that the difference between this one and the normal healing brush tool is that this one is smart enough to also look at the little fine details such as the hairs and as you can see it has actually done the direction of the hairs as well not just replace that area let's say that you've got yourself something like this someone who is in the background and you want to get rid of unwanted people once again just get yourself a selection of the person that you want to remove and then in a few seconds Boom, that person is completely gone. And that is actually really cool how it's done such a good job. It has created a little bit of a problem up here. And that is pretty much the new remove tool in Photoshop. This is in the beta version only at the moment. So if you would like to experiment with this and test it out, you will need to go into the creative cloud, go to apps, go down to beta apps, and then get yourself into Photoshop beta.